Yet another reason to enjoy more toys, toys in this fabulous instrument, the Roland Atelier AT900. Um, also available is sound effects on the 800, as well as all of the uh, Roland products. We have created at the Music Exchange this strip uh, that you simply lay on the lower manual and what you have to do in parentheses is find D sharp because that is the first sound effects uh, and each key black and white represents a tone so uh, I'm going to try a few then I'll show you how to get there to the sound effects in the instrument so here it says here's wind chimes As an illustration, here's a few of them. You may or may not be able to read them because they're kind of at an angle. But if I wanted to find a, uh, a uh, laugh, I'm just going to go to this note right here because it matches the word laugh. <laughs> or if I'm looking for a scream, I'll go right next door to that note. Here's a heartbeat. and some footsteps. And let's see, what do we have here? Here's a door creaking and a car starting. Here's a car passing. <laughs> so it goes on and on and you just choose what sound effect you want to incorporate into your song. You might want to just start before you start playing your song. You may want to just start with a sound effect to set the mood. Let's take an illustration here. If I were to find, uh, let's see, wind, and then right next door to wind, going down the scale is thunder. I can do two at a time if I like. sets the mood for a song that I might choose uh, that has to do with really bad weather. Guess Stormy what? Stormy <laughs> weather. <laughs> okay. Raindrops so, are falling. Raindrops are falling. <laughs> and then here, somewhere, right? Here's rain. And then the seashore and wind and birds. Goes on and on. You mean uh, like. There's bluebirds over the white cliffs of Dover. No, that's not what I was thinking at all, but <laughs> that would work. <laughs> and on the white tips of Dover, in the background, you can just hear. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. This strip, you just lay it down until you get familiar with certain ones you're going to use more than others. And, uh, and it's a lot of fun. And now, let me explain to you, share with you how to actually set the instrument up so that you can use sound effects. Um, in the main screen, no matter where you're at, just go ahead and touch the uh, blue button that says main. That'll take you back to the screen you're looking at right now. And then if, if we could pan over to the left side of the console, you'll see a, two buttons right here. One of them says drums. SFX. The other one right next door to it says manual percussion and it's shortened to P-E-R-C, manual perk. I want the special effects so I'm going to touch the very first button there and that's going to take me to a screen at, let me wait, that's going to take me to a screen that says drums SFX. Um, when you open the screen, it might look like this, to where you have pop, rhythm and blues, rock, jazz brush, so on and so forth. Just turn the page and you'll have more choices of types of uh, percussion. Turn the page again and I already have the sound effects highlighted. So that's how you get it and it automatically locks it in to your lower manual. Now, one word of caution here and that's 
if you <coughs> decide to play a little tune, uh, let's see, how about, let me turn this down a bit, and uh, a tune that would be, uh, and here's a pretty chord to go with it. And another chord. So the sound effects will not allow you to play chords. You'll have to take those off in order to play a chord. So with that in mind, you're all set to have a lot of fun. You can take your sound effects and save them into a preset and, uh, and just have, have a lot of fun exploring sound effects. Well, here we are again at the